In this video, we will see the demonstration of monostable multivibrator. The monostable multivibrator has one stable state and it makes use of the trigger pulse. Whenever the trigger pulse comes, then the state changes from low to high and it remains high for a certain amount of time and then again it goes low. It remains low until the next trigger pulse comes and the on time depends upon the value of the resistance and the capacitor. So let us see the demonstration of this monostable multivibrator and for this we'll be using the Tinkercad software. This is the free software available online. So this is the circuit diagram which we have designed using Tinkercad for the monostable multivibrator and we will see that how it works. So we'll start the simulation and over here let us try to understand how we are going to give the trigger. So in order to give the trigger to the monostable, we are using this dip switch. And over here we have used the multimeter, which will tell us the voltage which we are giving to the pin number two where we have to apply the trigger. So in order to trigger this triple five timer, the voltage at pin number two should become less than one third of VCC. So we'll make it low. So the moment the voltage at pin number two will become low, then the output state should change from low to high, that means LED should glow. And we have to give this trigger pulse for a very short duration. So we will slide the switch to low position and again make it high so as to trigger our monostable multivibrator. So let us see what happens if I slide the switch to the low position and again to the high position. The LED glows, it will glow for a certain amount of time and it will automatically turn off and it will remain off until I give the next trigger pulse. So say again if I trigger it, the LED again turns on, it will remain on for a certain time and then automatically it turns off. So this is how the monostable multivibrator works. We have to make use of the trigger pulse to change the state from low to high. Now let us see the effect of this resistance on the on time. Right now this resistance is 7 mega ohms. If I change this resistance to 2 mega ohm and again trigger it, let us see whether it changes the on time or not. So we see that the on time has reduced. So by changing the value, by reducing the value of resistance, the on time has reduced. Let us change it once again, increase this resistance to 6 mega ohm. So now the on time should increase. So we see the on time has increased. So this is the demonstration and I hope you have understood how the monostable multivibrator works.